thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ Fulry, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. So I've been running a couple days here. We are up to $55,000. Let's go take a look in the back and see what we got going on back here. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty stock back here. I do a and Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to make it to 90000 today? I don't know. You guys know because of the thumbnail. But I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, we're looking pretty freaking stock back here. And that is awesome. Also, we've got a lot of stuff out here that's like overflow. We've got toilet paper, more toilet paper. Right here, we've got a lot of pasta, some sugars. Uh, right here, we have beer. Uh, we have one thing of bleach over here. How do I decide when to overstock and what to overstock? I don't know. I just kind of play it by ear. I go by feel. Right here, we have some sushi sitting out. Oh, this isn't. Look, the sushi's in the shade. That's not going to work for me. Let's make sure the sushi is in the sun so it can get all the sun it's going to need to be delicious when it gets sold. So there you go. Sun sushi is all set up. And uh, we got a bunch of, you know, we got a little bit of vodka here too. So I woke up I woke up today and I was looking at my I was looking at my last video, or actually the video that came out the, the day before. And I was looking at, you know, I always look at my videos, see how they're doing, you know, see how, pe see how much people are liking them. And my video from the day before, like, started doing really well. Uh, not blowing up per se, but doing a lot better than it should have done. And I was like, what's going on with this crazy algorithm? You know, I don't really know what's going on here. This is kind of weird. Well, apparently someone named Mini Minter. Am I saying that right? Mini Minter? Uh, like, talked about me in his video. And yeah, this guy's got like 5,000, or sorry, 5,000. He's got 5 million subscribers on his gaming channel, 10 million on his regular channel. Uh, it looks like his regular channel is a lot of football stuff, or I guess for people in his part of the world, soccer. Well, part of the world, everyone that is in America. So yeah, I mean, that was really cool. He seemed like a nice guy too, man. I was watch watching the video and he's like, yeah, I was watching Cage play. And I was like, wow, that's awesome that he's watching me play. That's, you know, that's like, that's freaking cool. And um, he's, he was playing Supermarket Simulator, and he's like, I don't know. I think I'm going to maybe next episode will be the last episode. It's um, He feels like the, the series is boring to watch. And, like, I kind of feel like this series has been boring to watch at times. But people love it and always listen to the people. <laughs> so I um, I went to, I went in his uh, comment section. I was like, oh, thank you very much. It's very nice of you. And I was like, do not quit the series. This game is awesome. Your people are loving it. And it's going to be an update soon. I mean, there's got to be. Uh, our last update was 13 days ago. So I'm hoping that we'll get an update next week. That would be awesome. Or maybe even uh, over the weekend, but maybe hopefully by next week. And uh, yeah, that made me very happy. And like the people who came here from his channel were so nice. Like they were, uh, they were unbelievably nice. Sometimes you get a shout out from people that are not, you know, uh, a fan of your channel or don't know you. They'll come to your channel and just talk shit and be like, ah, oh, this sucks. What are you doing? You know, that's been my experience in the past, but uh, the thing is, the video that I put up, I was very, I was talking about interesting topics, you know, and making a uh, interesting conversation, or at least one-way conversation, that became two-way conversation once the people, uh, you know, could talk in the comment uh, in the comment section when the video went live. So, um, it was a good video. I'm, I'm really glad, and, like, the people were so nice. They were so nice. I was talking about my, um weight loss, you know, issues and the fact that I'm not losing any weight because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not eating healthy foods and all that kind of stuff. And they're like, keep, you know, keep plugging away. Don't give up and all that. And, you know, that's really cool. And that's, that's the um, kind of like, that's the kind of advice I would give to struggling YouTubers. Don't give up, man. Just stick it in there. Do it, you know, figure out a way to make it fun for you and uh, just keep doing it because you never know. Next year might be your year. You just, you don't have any way of telling. Um, so that was really cool. And, um, Sometimes the comment section can be pretty brutal, and I try not to take it personally. Sometimes I'll read the comment section, and someone will say something completely normal. Like, oh, Cage, didn't you know you could do this? And the way I read it, it's like, Cage, you idiot. Why are you so stupid? You should have done this, stupid idiot. Uh, you know, so, like, I try not to take it. Hey, what's up, Frank? How's it going? Oh, this guy, Frank's going to get blasted. Frank's going to get absolutely blasted. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, the comment section can be mean sometimes. Sometimes not so much. Sometimes I read it. Like, it's being mean to me, but it's really not. Uh, cake is too expensive, huh? Oh, where was the cake? It was over here, right? Which one? Uh, this one right here. Hmm. Deal with it, jerk. Just shut up and buy it. <laughs> shut up and buy it. Um, so the fact that, like, all the people who came over from his channel was so nice, it was really, really cool. So, uh, anyone who's new here... Welcome. I'm KJ48. I do, uh, you know, uh, now sim games, but I've kind of built my channel on survival games. 
Um, and I do both. I do sim and survival games. And uh, yeah, welcome. And uh, thank you for being so kind. I know I shouldn't. Like, you know, if someone was like, oh, I got a YouTube channel. People came over mean to me in the comment section. My advice to them would be like, it's, it's comment section. If th there's, two, there's, there's different kinds of comments in the comment section. There is constructive feedback, constructive criticism, and then there's people just being dicks. Okay? Well, I guess that's not the only two kind of people, but those are the two kind of people I'm talking about right now. Um, the people that are just being dicks, just ignore them. It's, it doesn't, you know, it's not healthy to, you know. Also, um, think about the fact that maybe you read the comment in a, in a, in a weird connotation and, you know, uh, intent does not come over through text. So maybe it looked like a mean comment and it really wasn't. I've had a lot of times that that's happened to me. Where I'd read a comment, I'd read it the wrong way, and I'd be like, oh, this guy's being a dick. No, not really. You just gotta, you know, step back and read it again. Really hear what the person's saying. And um, the ones that are constructive, uh, you know, don't take them personally. Like, oh, I think this series would be better be if you did this. And maybe that's not really... Maybe that wouldn't make your series any better. Maybe it's just some person who thinks that might make your series better. Or maybe they, they think what they want to see would be this thing. Um, like maybe some people will be like, hey, Cage, stop talking so much about wrestling. You know, that's, that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, it's great for the people that like wrestling, but how many people like watching this, like love wrestling, you know? I mean, probably a few, but I mean, I would say the majority don't, some, some of the people probably don't care. This is a very meta conversation, but, um, some of the people don't care about wrestling and they're like, whatever, if you want to talk about wrestling, I'll listen. And some people are like, ah, I'm sick of you talking about wrestling. And some people are like, yeah, I love wrestling. Hey, Dapper Dan, what's up, bro? Have a good one. Um, so, yeah, uh, how did my day go today? Well, I went to IHOP with the family. I didn't eat because I don't eat in the mornings. Uh, by the way, the morning for me is like noon. Uh, I work super, super late into the night and I get up late. And the reason, part of the reason I work super late into the night is for YouTube. Um, I think that, I think that sometimes doing your videos as late as possible is a really good idea. Because you never know when there's going to be an update. Like, let's say, hypothetically speaking, because um, I was talking to my wife about this, and I was talking to a family, and I was like, am I just being lazy? Am I just going to bed because I'm lazy? I mean, that's, that's part of it. I want to stay up late, and I'm not really... Oh, 317, nice. I'm kind of staying up late, and is that just because I'm being, like, uh, lazy or whatever? And I was like, no, not really. I mean, some of it is, but it really helps my YouTube channel, because let's say I make a video for Supermarket Simulator at noon let's just say noon let's say i make a video at noon and it's done at two or three and uh, maybe let's make it early let's say i do super consumer at 10 a.m and it's done at like 1 1 p.m and then i'm like okay and i make you know i make all my videos and i'm i'm off the computer by let's say 5 p.m there's a very real possibility there could be an update for the games i'm playing and i don't notice because i'm already done for the day now let's say i start recording at you know one or two and I'm not, and then I take a break and I do my my videos later on in the night. Now you're now you're looking at like if that update hits, I'm going to be able to take full advantage of it. So um, I think I think I used to pre-record a lot of episodes. Like I'd just be like I would I would like take um I would take a day, a couple of days during the week when I'm not streaming, and I would just power record like you know four episodes a day, and then that way when when the when the weekend came and I had to stream, I didn't have to record anything. But then if there's an update, you're you're really screwing yourself. You guys don't know how many videos you have not seen because of updates. Uh, like, I'll, like, well, actually, is that really true? Yeah, yeah. I would do a video for something like, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to throw, I'm going to throw games out there. I would do a video for, like, let's say Planet Crafter. And I would be planning to put it out the next day. And then all of a sudden, there's an update for, let's say, Supermarket Simulator. Guess what? That Planet Crafter video is not going up. It can't. Because the, the Supermarket Simulator is way too important. So, um, that leads me to, that leads me to my other thing. Um, you guys will be getting a Planet Crafter video today. <laughs> uh, at least that's my plan. I might change it, but as of right now, I plan to put up my Planet Crafter video. Now, this Planet Crafter video was recorded like a month ago. Uh, so it does not have the new update stuff. But if, like, people want to see Planet Crafter, then I'll do Planet Crafter. And if that video does well today, then uh, there will be more Planet Crafter in your future. Um, I might, I might even do one on the update, even if it doesn't do well, to be honest, but... Another thing about YouTube is record as late as possible and also uh, leave yourself open to switching out your schedule on the fly because you just never know when these games are going to get updates and you got to be you got to be prepared to hit that hotness 
All right, I'm giving just a lot of YouTube advice. Let's, I mean, a lot of people probably don't care about this, but for those of you who do care, there's some uh, advice for whatever whatever it's worth. How's it going, bud? 475, love it. 475, have a good day. Oh, look, your doppelganger. That's a glitch in the matrix, for sure. Yeah, 142. Also, just a quick thing about the YouTube uh, advice. That's what has worked for me in the past. Uh, your, your mileage may vary. You know, um, YouTube, trying to figure out how to do well on YouTube is... Uh, it's like, I don't think anybody really knows. Just make the best videos you can and hope for the best. All right, there you go. Uh, 142, 75. Have a nice day. All right. Let's go do some, moving some boxes around. Maybe we should help stock. Oh, wait, I got some boxes out here. Oh, yeah, that's right. These are supposed to be in the sun. Okay. Yeah, let's help stock. And I really like stocking the books. We could do um, croc, blue, green, and pink. That's how I always color code stuff. That's how I remember stuff. Croc, that's not a color, but I can't say blue because these are both blue. So croc, blue, green, and pink. And let's get to stocking. Darn it. Oh, that's a, hold on. That's a bad move. All right, good. Because <laughs> if someone came out to stock the croc, they would stock the croc. If someone came out to stock the croc, they would just start putting it on that shelf because that shelf is marked as croc. Fair enough. All right, let's go with pink next. There we go. All right, beautiful. What's next? Green? Oh, green. Where's green? Green, 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 green. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> freaking uh, mini mentor. I hope I'm saying this name right. Um, but yeah, he was, he was really funny. He's like, he's like, cage is max level. It's gonna take forever. I, I know, I know. The thing is, like, people are watching it though, so I could stream it like for a week straight, which I kind of did. Um, and he was like, uh, he it's funny. He was like, I could play this game for ten hours a day. I just don't know if it would be entertaining to watch. Uh, yeah, I totally get that. And as a as a fellow YouTuber, I feel that. In my bones but you know what people are saying they want it and they're watching it i don't know what his numbers are like with other games so i, I can't say for him but for me personally like people are watching this series so who am i to tell you you should like this series <laughs> you know um if you're enjoying it you're enjoying it if you're enjoying it, i'll keep playing it. i don't mind this game's awesome it's just sometimes when these games get late in the series it's like i gotta try and make this as entertaining as possible and then you feel like well maybe i can't that's why i i talk about wrestling and i you know talk about some personal things um, just to try and make it as entertaining as possible for you guys to watch. And, um, you know, people are liking it. So, all right, we're almost up to $70,000. I might have to spend some money today, probably, but not that much. Let's take a look. I'm, I'm trying to look for stuff I'm going to have to buy. See, the thing is, everything is in stock, so I don't really know what I'm going to have to buy. So we have to help these guys stock. All right, let's get some... Uh, they're definitely going to need some bleach, I think. Unless we have some outside, which I don't think we do. Let's look around. No, no, there's no bleach out here. It's probably going to have to order some bleach. Let's look through here. Everything. Oh, veggies. Oh, we're out of veggies. I can almost guarantee that. Yep. Okay. Veggie. You know what? Let's just set up that order. So we're going to need at least one box out front and four in the back. So veggies. So we'll go with five. And let's see if there's anything else in those freezers. Oh, I don't hear any more beeps. We need to end the day. Okay, let's see how we did today. It's been a little light the past few uh, days. Oh, 13. That's nice. I think that's 13. 12 and over is good. 13 is awesome. I've seen some 11s in there, though. Um, Susu Sugar Brown. Susu Sugar Brown. I'm guessing that's this one. Yeah, because that's not Susu. There's only two Susus. All right. Uh, we're going to go 850 on that. Kind of. Jack up those prices a little bit. And do we need to continue stocking or should we just do another day right now? I think we're just going to do, do another day right now. Maybe You know, you guys want to see me stock? You always see me ringing up. Let's do some stocking. Got to mix it up. All right. Open sesame. And it looks like we need some of this. Uh, I forget what that's called. Sandwich bread? Is that called sandwich bread? I think it is. International delivery. Where did my sandwich bread come from? Oh, goodness, there was two. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What the heck, I says. And I think there's only one more box over there, right? Yep. 
And maybe there's only two in here. Oh no, this one's full. Cool. Wait, is it? Wait, these look. It's weird. These look different to me right now. I, I don't really know why. They look different. Uh, I guess I, I, they can't be. There's, there's been an update in 13 days. So that's weird. I don't know. It's in my freaking broken ass brain. All right. So let's bring out some ketchup. Some ketchup. So um, we went out to IHOP. We had our three nieces with us. And two of the two, the two, um, two of the three got what my favorite food is, and that is ch uh, chicken fingers and French fries. And it's pretty funny that I eat like an eight-year-old girl, but you know, I don't know, man. I like chicken fingers and French fries. What am I gonna do? You know? <laughs> and they're sitting there eating. And, and I mentioned earlier that I get up early, so when I get up at like you know 11 a.m. and we're eating at one, I can't eat. I can't eat that early. I gotta be up for a long, a much longer time than that to eat. So I couldn't eat. So I'm watching them eating the um, the chicken fingers. I was like, man. These girls have good taste. That looks good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It really does. We have any more cereal out here? Where the heck is all my cereal? Oh, goodness. We don't like barely any back here. You order 10 of each? Yeah, let's just order 10 of each. To hell with it. That's that's what my thing's been from now on. I, oh, that's five. Okay. Come on, order. And let's order another five. Okay. And then we'll do 10. Yeah, I just if I need something, I'm just ordering ten of each at this point. Not not all of them, but some of them. What, dude? I'm pressing the button. I would wonder if the battery is going dead in my mouse, but it's a wired mouse. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Get out there and get some cereal in here. I'm playing Stockboy today. Very good. Hey, how's it going, man? Yep, buy that cereal. Buy that cereal or go to hell. Actually, the, the correct quote is, buy me Bone Storm or go to hell. What's that from, guys? Let me know in the comments. You guys got my Lost Boys. Marco, what's going on? You got, like, It's such a weird, like, delivery. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you guys got my Lost Boys reference, so that, that made me very happy. Someone in the comment section was like, I'll do I'll do one push-up for every like this, this, uh, this comment gets. So I pinned the comment. <laughs> I think he's up to 41. I wouldn't be able to do 41 push-ups. No freaking way. Even when I was in shape. Just never been good at push-ups. Okay. Got some uh, crispy stuff here. Cool, cool. And let's continue stalking. We'll work our way up and see if we can get to that 90,000 today. It took a long, long time, but we are going to hit 90,000. Let's go ahead and ring up some customers. I'm a little bit light in the back. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the, the back room, the storage room is a little bit light. But um, I'm, I didn't let it run out. I didn't let it run out. And um, here we go. Let's go ahead and ring some people up while we wait for the day to end. Definitely end a little quicker with me helping. 150, nope, 57, 75. I think I, um, I think I developed dyslexia uh, later on in life. Like, I never used to get, like, numbers, like, mixed up and stuff or put in the wrong numbers. But, yeah, I, I, and spelling, too. Like, a lot of times, like, I'll go to spell something, like, you know, like, easy ones like um i don't know like load and i would do like l a o d but i i would like I, I think it might be i think it might stem from my impatience and i'm always hurrying through things as well it might not actually be dyslexia but i don't know sometimes i get stuff mixed up have it going but it might just be because i'm very impatient and when i feel like i know something that's gonna be that's gonna happen in a certain way i feel that i stop thinking about it i stop listening it, it always happens in conversations um and you know a, a lot of times with women as well uh like uh, someone will be saying something and i'll be, i'll think i know where they're going with it and then i'll just stop listening uh, just so i can form what i'm gonna say back and you know it's it's not a good way to go it's uh, also the way i read when i read like um like i've done like live reading when i was um playing survival games and stuff I have, I eventually stopped because it's it's just it's awful, <laughs> but I'll like go to read something and I'll get and I'll like start reading the first couple words of the first sentence and then I'll fill in the rest of the sentence in my head even if that's not where the sentence is going I feel like at the first few words of a sentence I feel where it's going to be going and maybe sometimes I'm right sometimes I'm not but yeah it um definitely stems from impatience no doubt so. 
four dollars. Have a good one. What's going on, bud? Looking good. Twenty-five cents. Have a good day. Yeah, some people can't find stuff. I'm definitely out of some things, um, but that's okay. That is it. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sweat the little things. We are at ninety-one thousand dollars, people. Look at that. Look at us go. One dollar. Have a good day. What's up, Tara? Oh man, somebody's got some hungry dogs at home. Uh, 199. All right, very good. Have a nice day. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what to name this guy. I really don't. 196. Have a good day. What's up, Jack? How's it going, bud? Okay. 185.50. Have a nice day. Oh, mannequin woman. There's certain people in this game that look like their skin's made of plastic, and I, I have a little um, head cannon going that the mannequins have come to life in this town and are coming to my grocery store. Hey, man, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to turn down mannequin money. You, know, you, got, you got good money. I don't really care if you're a mannequin or not. It don't bother me. Eight fifty. Have a nice day. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff out here. Yeah, we got the... Yeah, this is too much. I don't, I don't have any room for that pizza inside. Right here, we've got bleach. More bleach. Do you have room for that bleach? Eh, barely. Oh, we need some toilet paper. So what is that? That's um, that's actually paper towels. Oh, dude, we don't have any paper towels. I think I might have ordered the wrong thing and put it in the wrong, like, lane. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to have a good few thousand dollars, um, even after this. Even after we buy this. Now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be doing a store rearrange today. I will probably be moving that stuff around for next video though. Um, I have to decide what I want to do over here. Um, I really don't know. I'm just gonna kind of. Oh, that's right. I want to take all the all the fridge items and like make a U over here. And instead of having all of my fridge items on the back wall and just make like a U or something. I don't know. It might not be worth it. I don't have enough refrigerators, honestly, because these refrigerators are not moving from their spots. Because the only thing that makes sense at the end of an aisle, in my opinion, is refrigerators. Everything else is, is crap. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to have enough refrigerators over here to do that. I mean, I could buy more refrigerators, but there wouldn't be a, a need for it. I don't know. Maybe I will. We'll see. We'll see. I might have enough. I might have enough. To make like a little U. And then I want in the middle of the U to be the freezers. Although, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to have a big enough U to fit all these freezers in. So, I'm not really sure. I'll have to think about it. And um, I will make some decisions. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to make some decisions soon because it's gonna be like next episode. Maybe I'll put maybe I'll put the building on hold. No, what's tomorrow? No, yeah, I'll have plenty of time tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day to record, so I'll, I'll take some extra time and uh, you know make a little U thing over here. Kind of see how that goes. All right, let's see how I did today. Very good. Made eleven thousand dollars. Mim cheese, mim cheese. That's this stuff. This stuff just went down like yesterday. All right, four twenty, four fifty. We'll leave that where it is, and let's come back here. Let our stalkers do their job, and management. Eh, screw the bills. I don't have money for bills. There we go. Actually, I should probably pay a couple of those bills. At least the ones that are due today. There we go. All right, cool. So we now are had our section eighteen. And the next one, section uh, 19, and we're going to have to save over $102,000. That is going to be tough. That is going to be tough. So, yeah, we got right over. Actually, this is going to be pretty. Yeah, all I got to do is move these over here, make this a little U, and then move these over here. Yeah, this should, this should work out. This should definitely work out. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's continue stock. Let's see what we need. Let's see what we need. We got to bring some stuff in. I don't think we need to bring any of that in. Um, we definitely need uh, paper towels. Let's go ahead and order some paper towels. I'm not going to show you guys a lot of me ordering, but sometimes I think watching me order could be pretty interesting. All right, we need the Yamo stuff. I forget what it's called. Is it called Ye Yamo? Yeah, there you go. Yamo. I'm just going to get 10 of those. That's what I do for now. I just buy 10 of everything. I probably shouldn't do that when I'm low on money, though, to be honest, but whatever. We're going to actually stock this ourselves. Eh, you know what? I probably should I probably should have them stock it. 
It looks like they've got a lot of stuff to stock, though. So let's go ahead and put this in here, right there. And this is all looking pretty cool. Yeah, um, I personally think, honestly, like, 100%, like I feel like my setup right now is the perfect setup. And if I was just playing for myself, I probably wouldn't adjust it. But I am thinking about the viewer. I'm thinking about making interesting videos that people want to see. So I will probably adjust it. But, you know, another thing, too, though, I thought I had the perfect setup last time. And and then I adjusted it, and it was better. So this adjustment might make it better. It might, it might not be as good. I don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot. Let's go see if we can stock this before they get over there. Oh, there's not even a lot to stock. Not even a whole box. Okay. Yeah, maybe buying 10 was a bit much. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. Yo, looking good. Let's see what else we need. Um, oh, yeah, we need those things. Okay. So for the cleaners, I just go up here. Go right there. I need five. I always order, like... Well, I don't always order, but a lot of times I'll order stuff together. So, like, if I'm going to order this kind of cleaner... Uh, here, better be better show you here. If I'm going to order this kind of cleaner, I'm also going to order this kind of cleaner. Those two go together in my mind. Uh, maybe that's not always the case, although I think it was the case there, but it might not always be the case all the time, but it really doesn't matter. It's just how I like to order. Uh, we're definitely going to need some muscle milk. This stuff... This stuff sells like crazy. I'm just buying 10. There we go. And what do we got back? What do we got going on back here? We need... Oh, see, the alcohol is going to be expensive. Uh, chicken too. Okay. Let's buy the beer next. And I think I am going to call this one here. I'm going to just going to continue buying stuff until I don't have any money. And then we're going to run some more uh, days. And I'm going to work on the next update. Now, uh, or not the next um, expansion. Now, some people have been telling me to get more licenses. And honestly, I would love nothing more than to get more licenses. But the problem is I don't have any room in the back. And the game doesn't have enough room, to, you know, in my opinion. So I will not buy more licenses until he deals with the back. Because it's already a, a kind of a shit show back here. <laughs> um, and I'd prefer to get a, a larger back room. So once that's done, though, I will start, I will start buying licenses. But for now, I'm just going to kind of pull myself out of the hole here of, you know, getting money, ordering stuff, and uh, just trying to make as much money as I can. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.